So the other day I decided to challenge myself and try to shoot a b-roll sequence without using any professional gear so I didn't have any digital camera, no gimbal, no stabilizer, nothing, just my phone. Check this out. That was right. That was that was good, right? Um, shout out to Sunea. That was actually my friend in that video. She is actually an amazing designer. Please go check her out on her Instagram. Uh, she's actually got some amazing stuff there, so you might want to go follow her. If you're here for the first time, my name is Z, and I love making videos, and I love you know sharing the process of how I make my videos and just how to make you know film stuff on a budget. If you've been here before welcome back if you really like the video um, that you saw in the beginning i didn't use any professional gear i didn't have any studio lights i was just using natural light i didn't have any gimbal or stabilizer or anything like that i didn't use any third party apps or anything like that i just shot using the standard camera app that you get when the phone counts in today's video i just want to break down how i made that video um, that you saw in the beginning uh, so I'm breaking it down into three sections, the gear that I used, the video settings that I used, my style of shooting. What was your gear? I used my phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10. You can pretty much get the same results or similar results from any of their S series phones, um, at least somewhere from S8 going up. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure with the A series phones as well from Samsung, you can pretty much get the same results. I also used a selfie stick for one of the shots. I've had this for like four years now. Uh, I bought it when selfie sticks were really the in thing back then. You know, it even has a remote and like a Bluetooth thing, you know, but. Uh... What about your shooting style? So when it comes to shooting anything, uh, mostly, you know, when you're shooting using your phone, uh, you want to think different to how you see the world you want to think different to how anyone else would shoot you you don't want to shoot a video like how your parents would shoot it no offense to your parents but you don't want to shoot your video like how any normal person would just like whip out a phone and be like oh that's a nice thing you don't want to do that you want to think different you don't because things that are nice to see are things that you don't see on a daily basis you know because it's it's new to your eyes so with the opening shot i wanted to shoot uh, Sunea walking. I don't want to have that normal shot of how you would see from an eye level. I wanted to show her shoes like you know because that's not something you don't you don't have people lying around every day just looking at shoes and at a shoe level you know so that's when I used my selfie stick so that I could put my phone you know upside down and then just hold the stick and then start moving with it you know as I was following her so I just set my focus and then I just started to follow her hoping that it was gonna stay in focus for long enough so you also want to use revealing shots or things that can you know be in the foreground you know so that you can sort of like have this nice uh, reveal of what's coming you know for example you know when she was when she was actually drawing on the Wacom tablet I had a shot where I was coming from underneath the table and then they're just moving up. You know, I had set my focus before that shot and then made sure that I'm focusing on the pen and the Wacom tablet. And then I just go back down and then I move up. It's not like on a normal day basis, you have people under tables just going like. People are not just like out there doing like, so when you see that on a video, you're like, wow, this looks nice, you know? And then I had shots where I was sliding, you know, from behind a chair or something like that. Or the shot that I had the camera facing down and I was moving above the, the iMac. You wanna shoot things at a different perspective, you know, to how you would see with your eyes. Cause everyone is walking here, right? That's, that's how we see 
life every day the moment you just lie down and just look up in the sky you're just like whoa why because you don't see that every day you know so that's the same thing with shooting your videos you know you wanna you wanna instead of if you're gonna shoot uh shoes don't like shoot them down like that you know go down to that level you know go to shoe level and just like you know shoot it there what were your settings full disclaimer this only applies to uh, samsung phones particularly the s series and the a series future z here so i had finished recording this video and i had uploaded it and i showed it to my sister and then she was like so what about us who use iphones and i was like fair point she's got a point yeah she's got a point she's got a point so i'll be doing a follow-up video showing how you can get similar results with an iphone i just wasn't able to get an iphone for this particular shoot uh just to show you but be on the lookout back to you comrade what you want to do is fire up the camera app and then what you want to do is go to the settings and you go down to rear video size and then you go to resolution and you want to choose ultra hd which is pretty much 4k and you want to choose the one with 60 fps and if you don't know what 60 fps is it's just frames per second i actually did a video last week so you might want to check that out uh, before you continue because i won't be covering that in this video i use 60 fps because it allowed me to slow down the footage and then when you're done you go back and then you want to avoid using the normal video mode and you want to go to the pro video mode which you'll find under the mode tab so this is pretty much samsung's manual video mode setting right you might see a completely black or completely white screen blown out don't worry that's pretty much what happens because now everything is manual uh, because when you're using your video setting what your phone is actually doing is it's automating everything every it's controlling everything that affects the light and the brightness and all of that so once you go into manual mode it switches off all those automated settings and now you have to set those settings yourself i will not deep dive into what all these mean because that's a completely different topic on its own but i am going to make a video on these camera settings on its own because that would make this video really long so but i'm just going to talk about the settings that i use so the iso in a nutshell it affects your brightness the brightness of your image and you've got your aperture which again affects uh, the light that um, actually comes into your lens and then it affects the depth of field as well my phone only has two options an aperture of 1.5 and an aperture of 2.4 uh, I used an aperture of 1.5 because that's the brightest that my phone could give me. The third thing is shutter speed, which I also covered in the video that I did last week, which you can find here. I used an, a shutter speed of 125 uh, because I was shooting at 60 frames per second. The fourth thing is focus. So I used manual focus on the entire shoot because I wanted to control what is in focus because if you use autofocus you are relying on your phone to decide for you what is important and that is not what you want because you are the one who knows what's important you want to avoid that you want to use manual focus and then decide what is in focus and then the last the fifth thing is uh white balance i usually leave that on auto but if you really want to change it you can go in there and change it but like I said, I won't deep dive into what these really mean. I will do a separate video for that. But yeah, that's how I made this video. And uh, actually, I'm actually thinking, you know, of challenging you to make something with your phone. Could be in your office, at school, uh, in town, just walking around or, or at home or anything. You know, just, just try film something and just try make something. You could be filming your kids. You could be filming... Uh, your your classmates or anything like that um you know if you accept the challenge send uh your videos to my instagram and i'll repost them on my status but yeah i just tried to just talk uh about how i made that video and just to encourage you guys to you know to not be drawn back by you know gear because gear is expensive like oh camera gear is expensive um but you can still produce you know really great results with your phone and you can still make really cool things with your phone. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below in the comments. Hey, hey. And if you like this video, uh, you know what to do. 
please <laughs> subscribe and uh, leave a like you know and uh that would be really appreciated uh but apart from that until next time yeah.